Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And if you hear, there's laundry in the background. <sighs> Coffee time. Today we're going to make a rope gnome or rope Santa. I made the gnome because I think they're cute, but it, call it what you will. So we're going to make this project and I'm going to show you what we need. You'll need scissors. These are gross craft scissors, which you want. Some felt. I just grabbed some white cheap felt, cut it in half. I am using mostly Dollar Tree stuff, which they do sell felt, but I didn't get this there. This is the nautical cord. This is the 13 millimeter, 6.8 foot. This is the fatter, but you can use whatever you have. It will just determine how big you want it. I'm using the fatter of the two. Some pom-poms, whatever kind you like. All this is from the Dollar Tree. I got some googly eyes out if you wanna put eyes on it. And then some of this yarn. This is the Premier Just Chenille. This is Just Chenille, and this is a little different. This is almost like an eyelash type yarn. I use this for this guy, and you just have to wrap it more to get the coverage that we're looking for. On this one, I'm going to do this one, uh, pink and white Santa gnome situation, right? So how do we begin? Oh, and glue. You can use regular tacky glue. I have my hot glue there now. We're going to see if that'll work. I used tacky glue on the last one and it was just a little messy, but we'll do whatever we need to do. Okay. So first things first, we're going to open up our rope. Oh, allergies today, guys. It's like 900 degrees out there. All right, got the rope open. I'm going to start at one end. And I'm just going to say I would like him, this is how scientific this is. I'm going to start him off like that long, right there. The first piece will be your deciding factor of all things. So just put the rope to the side. Lay it out. We're going to start with the white chenille. And I'm going to lay it here. And I'm going to say what we're doing is the first piece is a center. So how much of this center do I want to cover? Right? So we'll say here, I will start right here. Let me get ready. Because hot glue is quick. But I'm going to try it. Put a piece of hot glue there, just a little drop, and we're gonna put our chenille right in there. I just need it to hold. Now, while that is doing its drying thing, we're gonna wrap it four, five, six times, doesn't matter. However big you want the white on the, hel on the um, hat. So I say I would like mine that wide. I'm gonna find the side I glued, which is right here. I glued this side, so I'm always gonna glue on that same side. Put a little drop of hot glue. And I mean, just a little drop, right? If you're using liquid tacky glue, you can always put more because it can spread for your next color. And I'm gonna cut it off, and that is it. There's the white. I'm making this one a little bigger, and there's Capra. A little bigger on the white. So, and I just keep measuring it out. I just keep saying, okay, well that looks good. I like the fat white. We're gonna do some pink next. Here's my glue side. Oh, let's get this pink open. You can pull from the center. It doesn't matter to me on this. I just need it out so I can attach the pink right where I ended the white. Oops, and that got a little messy, but we don't care. I'll drop that in there. Let it sit for a second to dry. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go down here and start where the white ended. It gets a little fussy wrapping but that is okay. At one point you'll get really good at it and you'll start just flinging things around. It does not have to be perfect. It can be fluffier. 
because it's gonna bring all the texture. But watch what I'm gonna do. I just wanna show you this first one because they're all done the same way. So I'm gonna go around a little bit and then I'm gonna bend. And I'm gonna see, okay, well here I can see some white from the rope. So I'm just gonna go back up there and make sure that's covered. I just want coverage when the rope bends in half. And then I come down here and say, okay, well, I'm not quite where I need to be yet. So I just keep going. It's very scientific. Pe some people will wanna mark their rope, go for it. Take a pencil, take a pen, mark where you want your colors to begin or end. Bend it in half. It's all covered. Okay, perfect. So I'm at where I wanna be, turn it over. And quite frankly, if you can't see your glue spot, you're doing a good job. You don't worry about it. And then I'm just going to mush that in the glue. I just wanna make sure all the glue stays on the back side. Right? And then we're going back to white. Let me get my white ready. Oh, the hot glue's working quick. The, ta oh, the tacky glue didn't work so, I mean, it worked great if you need to, but it didn't, it wasn't fast. Keep in mind that chenille will pull off the end. So you just wanna make sure you've got it in there and mushed real good. And then I'm gonna come up here. And like I said, this is the first one. It doesn't matter as long as everything matches how you want it to match. So I have a pink showing, so I'm gonna go back up, but I'm long enough. So I'm gonna come up here, come back around, and glue it right there. Just be gentle with your glue gun. I wish I had one of those um, precision tips, but I don't. Okay, so he's good. When I fold it in half, everybody is covered, right? We're all covered. And what we're gonna do is just glue it down onto this white or whatever color. It doesn't have to be white. It's not gonna show. I just want it to have somewhere to stay. And it keeps the hot glue to the back. So we're just making sure we're squishing it, we're mushing it, everybody is in the right position. And there's our first lever, our first layer done. How easy is that? So we're going to repeat the process. And it doesn't matter down here if everything is even because we're going to cut it after we unravel. So then I take my rope. Ah, everything is going crazy. I'm losing my pom-poms. And I'm just going to do a cold, you know, just a quick, how long do I want it? That's long enough. Cut it off. And make sure you're getting all your little glue pieces. And what I do at the end is I took a piece of uh, my lint roller. So I know where I'm at. I know it's long enough. I'm gonna start right here. Let me get that out of my way. And I'm gonna get the white. I marked it with my fingers. And again, it does not have to be exact. Because you're starting on this side. Um, what you will need is a fair amount of glue sticks. And then we're gonna do it again. Now, I wanna count this time. I think I did seven rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's see if that is accurate. And I just measure it up against here. Nope, too many. And you can just smush it where it needs to go. So I think Yep, that's good. I know I glued it here, 
So I'm going to glue it here. If you make your white a little too long, you can just go over it with some pink. All right, I'm going to fast forward through this part and I'll come back when I attach this second piece. Okay, I'm back and I want to show you how I'm going to fix that spot right there. I just noticed it. I could probably cover it up, but let's just fix it. Super easy, you just add more. Because you're gluing all but pretty much one side down, it's easy to fix these little situations. We're gonna glue it back on that side because that's the back. And then we're just gonna go through there, let it dry. Okay. Now, down here, you see these little fluffies? They'll all come off at the end. Oops. And then we decide we're going to go the next layer down. And you want to line up your white. All right? So, this layer, I go with the glue around the outside. and a pretty fair amount. Mushing it, making sure it's right where I want it to go. I give it a good smush. And now we have two layers. This one here will get covered by the next layer or I can just peel off a little bit, no big deal. Okay, now I'm gonna keep building. On this one here, I did one, two, three, four layers. So we'll do two more layers, and then I will come back when I do the last layer to show you. Okay, we're all the way around on our fourth time, but we're not gonna stop at the white because we wanna give him a hat like it's bent over and it's longer. So we're gonna keep going, and you can make this as long or as short as you want. I would say I make this end a little tighter just so the uh, yarn doesn't slide. It's already coming unravel, but that is okay. As long as we get what we need here. Sorry if this is making you dizzy. All right, that's me and I just keep measuring. I like it just a little longer, but I gotta be careful because my rope, but I'm gonna be cutting this off. So it's okay if it's unraveling on me. But if that bothers you, use the taped end or tape your end until you get down here. And I think we might be long enough. So we start at the white we go around. Yep, that is good. So I'm just going to take a little piece or a little dollop of the glue, go around. I let that dry and then I start my white because I had a big enough dollop to do that. You definitely want to be neater down here because it's going to be shown. It's going to hang out. So I'm going to come up over here. Do a nice, neat job covering that pink. And then what I want to do is I'm gonna cover the pink with a little white, that end that I just glued. So I really want it to stay put. And I want this white to be more like a pom-pom, so I make it thicker. And you don't, it doesn't have to be the same size as the other ones because it's not gonna be lined up. Get it nice and tight. Down here. And I think we're good. So I'm going to just do a tiny little bit of glue. I don't wanna see it. And then lay that in there. And it's all covered up. Let it dry. I'm gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna trim this end. 
So this is the end, that's the end of his hat. So I cut that out and then I'm just gonna unravel it all. You can take a comb, you could take a pick tool, you could take whatever you want. And then you see, once you unravel it, you're gonna have some jagged edges and I just trim it. Just like that. And now you have a little puff ball or you could cover the entire end if you want. Okay, that is dry. I got it real good. I don't need any more yarn yet. Oh, I don't need any more yarn, period. What I do need is to make sure I have a glue stick on deck. So, I'm gonna go all the way around, right? Now, the unfortunate part is I'm at the glue stick that's not quite melted. Ugh. But I think I have enough. Okay. Drop it here, all the way around nice and tight. And push it down, get it all up in there. Oops. And this is gonna be the curly end. I'm gonna do a brown nose on this one. You do whatever color nose you wanna do. But I feel like this one needs a brown nose. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna cut this off yet. We're gonna work down here. I already know this piece is too long. That's the taped end, and this is the other taped end but I'm not gonna cut it short until I've unraveled everybody. And um, get the, the beard how I like it. So again, we'll speed this up. I'm untangling all of these. You can also use a tool to do it if you want. You don't need to, you can just do it that direction. So that's what I'm doing right now. If you like that size, and I'll know if I like it once I see it. If not, you can separate these into smaller bites, but we will see. And then you pick how you want the beard to be. This is like the easiest thing ever. I'm gonna glue hangers, hanging rope on the back of mine because I'm gonna Okay, I have as much as I want fluffy out. Oops, sorry. Now it's time to do some trimming. So, oops, the first thing I'm gonna trim, how to stand up for this, is his beard. So I kind of rake it all the way down because I wanna do a, like a little angle and let's see how his beard looks. Okay. So I'm just gonna go this way, right? And then I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna go around this way. And I do it a little longer than I think I want because then I can always trim it. But, and then I like the ends a little mushy. See over here, I kind of mess with them until the ends started separating. And just to give it a little more volume, no big deal if you don't. Okay, now we are gonna take off this felt, it's dry. Turn it over. We're gonna trim it so you can't see it from the front. 
that's why it doesn't really matter what color you do the back. I do want to tack that down a little better. Just to hold that in place. And that's a little bit of wasted felt, but I can use it for something else. You can cut them better if you're gonna mass produce this. But right now, that is it. This one looks bigger because I used more yarn. So the fatter you make this piece, the wider he is. But I like it just as that. And then I have some of this cording. And I think that much is good for both of them. So I can hang them. Okay, we'll say center, does that look centered? Yes. I'm getting good at this centering thing. I'm using a fair amount of hot glue in this cord. Because I want that down in there. I want it to be buried in the hot glue. And then I can just peel it off of that. And then same thing with her. Get a double layer, hot glue. Push it down in there. Now I'm 100% gonna let this dry and then I will show you the finished product. Guys, I love them. They are so cute. I need to work on fluffing the, up the pink one up. Oh, these are gonna be so fun. Oh, hi, Alex. Say hi. <laughs> yes, I know. All right. Well, everybody gets to say hi to Alex. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. All right, guys, well, those are fun.